Could this be your loved one in the spirit world? Come and join me as I sketch and communicate with those that have crossed over to the higher side of life. If you like my content, why not like this video and subscribe to my channel. As I spend some time opening up to the world of spirit, a lady of advanced years steps forward to me. As I blend with her energy, I instantly feel that she was most definitely kindred in nature, the salt of the earth type lady. She appears to be thrilled that I'm going to sketch her, but only if I get her best side. She has a sweet nature, with an enduring smile. Just being with this lady for a short while makes me feel all warm inside, which I'm sure was apparent to those who knew her. She has healing qualities about her. As she begins to show me some moments of her life, it has become evident that she had strong beliefs in the afterlife and would be active within her local spiritualist church. She had a dabble in tea leaves from time to time and read for family and friends, but not on a professional level. She was a searcher of truth and been an avid fan of the late Doris Stokes and Gordon Higginson. For quite a few years, she worked as a seamstress, which had been something that was taught to her by her late mother. She told me that her mother passed quite early in life, and she was the oldest of her siblings, which ultimately led to her having an active role alongside her father raising the children. She looked up to her father, and always wanted to make him proud. For such a young lady herself at the time, she matured very quickly. She married at around the age of 20 and later had four children of her own. It was her father's proudest moment of walking her down the aisle and was quite difficult for him to let her go. She was only 30 when her father had left the earth, which absolutely devastated her. But she continued to be a mother figure for her younger siblings when they needed the support. With a loss of both parents at a young age, kick-started her fascination with life after death, especially when she saw the spirit of her mother within her dining room. She quickly sought out a local spiritualist from which seances were conducted within her home with the hope that she could make further contact with her late parents. Although she worked for many years as a seamstress, she spent a considerable amount of time in all kinds of needlework at home, everything from dressmaking to embroidery. She even made her own wedding dress she loved her sewing room and made many outfits for her children and grandchildren. One of her favourite pieces was a christening gown that she'd made for her daughter. She had an old Singer sewing machine and a mannequin which often displayed her latest creations. She speaks with so much love for her husband and they had a long marriage of approximately 60 years. 
she makes me aware that there's only a few months between them when they passed, and this is what they always hope for, to always be together. She makes me aware of how beautiful the spirit world is, beyond anything that we could imagine with our physical mind. She tells me of how she and her husband spend so much time together, doing the things they never got a chance for in their time on earth. They are happy. During the remaining years of her physical life, she made me aware that she had thrombosis in her left leg and suffered with osteoarthritis. This was devastating for her as she really struggled to do her passion of dressmaking. During the last two years, she contracted Alzheimer's, which was so hard on her children to see their sweet mother becoming forgetful of what was an amazing life. Then, in her last few days of her time here, she caught a severe chest infection, from which sepsis crept in. Shortly, in the middle of the night, she passed peacefully in her sleep. Her adoring family was by her side. She had given me some key names that seemed important. Iris, Walter, Stephen and Michelle. There was also what I could only make out to be Livy or Olivia. As she was drawing back, she wanted to express her gratitude and love to her descendants and that she will always be watching over them. I do hope that this amazing lady finds its way to her family. Till the next time, folks. Have a great day.